everyone, this is DJ Zarex back at Pro Musicals Chennai and welcome back to my Tractor Basics tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use different kinds of cue points. If you're just getting started with DJing, you might find these a little confusing. If you do find these confusing, you can always come back to them later. Let's put our cue point back in place and get started with different kinds of cue points. The first one is a regular cue point which lets you jump to different positions in the same track. Next up is fade in and fade out cue points. You might think these cue points are more like an indicator for you to know where to start fading in and where to start fading out. But these can do a lot more than that. Let me show you how to use fade in and fade out cue points. Let's load another track to our second deck and get right to it. Let's find out the place where we'll probably want to start fading out from. Sounds like the song is coming to an end here. Let's put a cue point right before this. Now in the cue type selector, let's select this as a fade out cue point. Let's go to the second song and find out where we should start fading it in from. Let's select this as a fade in cue point. It's not very easy for a DJ to remember when to start fading in and when to start fading out for a hundred of tracks. This function in Tractor makes it really easy for you to plan your DJ sets well in advance so you can worry about other things when you're actually DJing. Let me show you how useful these orange flags can be. I'm gonna play the first song like we usually would and let Tractor do its thing. Now how cool was that? When a fade out cue point crosses the play position, it triggers the playback of the next track from the fade in cue point. There are a lot of cool things you can do inside Tractor. I'll keep posting videos to help you explore them. There are three other types of cue points which we'll talk about in the next video. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for our future tutorials and tips and tricks videos.